Four years ago, in 2008, our lives were very different. Craig was the CEO of a biotech company here in Austin, and I was a stay-at-home mom of two small children, and we had big hopes and dreams for our family's future. But in March of that year, our daughter, Christiane, was beginning to read, and we noticed that she was bringing books really close to her face, and a trip to the optometrist turned into a trip to the neurologist, and that began a whole series of testing for rare conditions we'd never heard of before. Christian had Batten disease, a fatal neurodegenerative illness for which there is no treatment or cure. I remember thinking to myself I was going to have a blind child and thinking, yeah, I can do that. And then a single, unexpected, horrific moment ripped away life as we knew it and the future we dreamed of for our family. We learned that our little girl would not only be blind, but she would live with seizures, become mentally and physically incapacitated, and we would lose her by our late teens or early 20s. The day we got Christian's diagnosis um, was a horrible, obviously very painful day disbelief, despair, fear, and um, unbearable pain. The first thing we did was drop to our knees and prayed. You know, every day there's a new realization of what you, you won't get to experience or you won't get to enjoy with your, you know, daughter. Uh, you know, you, she's not going to have a wedding dress and get married. As a parent, you know, the urge to do something for your child is instinctual. What amazed us and inspires us and continues to sustain us is that we were surrounded by a whole community of people who wanted to do something too. The opportunities of love and support were overwhelming, and the combination of gifts and talents and resources in our own community fueled our hope and determination to do something to make a difference. We started the Beyond Bat Disease Foundation with two ambitious goals. First was to fund research for treatments and cures for bat disease, and secondly, to eradicate hundreds of genetic diseases like it. But the seeds of a plan to eradicate genetic killers like bat disease was taking shape a few offices down from mine. A strategy that harnesses the most advanced genetic technology was being developed by two of the most brilliant minds in the field of science, who also happened to be colleagues and friends, Dr. Mike Spain and Dr. Mark Chandler. I wish I could say that the idea for the test came from some road to Damascus moment, but the truth is it came over cocktails uh, late one night. We were wondering what Craig and Charlotte could have done to thwart this fate. Could they have said, let's get screened for Batten? Their physician would have said, why Batten instead of a thousand other different inherited diseases? And the physician would have been right. The solution was to screen for all of them because individually, yes, they're rare. Collectively, they're not so rare. I'd been serving on the board of the National Center for Genome Resources and had followed the advances in genetic analysis and knew that that was possible. I called Stephen Kingsmore, who is the president laid out the idea. He decided then and there to drop everything and begin researching this problem. Simultaneously, a couple dozen or so women who were friends of Charlotte and Craig's decided they were gonna work really hard to fund this idea. Two and a half years later, it's exciting to think that these women and these leading scientists that dropped everything to make diseases like Batten a thing in the past are near accomplishing their goal. This is so much more than a tragic story about one family. It's a great story. It's an inspiring story about an entire community of people with a passion and determination bringing together a whole host of talents and resources. Yes, Christiane is the catalyst for all this and this is her legacy, but it's also the legacy of a community a community of people joined by a cause to change the world 
and give so many others hope. We need a cure and we need it fast. The only way to accomplish our goals and speed up this process is through the help and kindness of people like each one of you. In just three short years, Beyond Batten Disease Foundation has made tremendous strides for treatments and a cure for Batten Disease, which is warp speed in the science world. In fact, the team of scientists we support at Texas Children's Hospital in Houston may have a promising new treatment ready for a human clinical trial later next year. The laboratory that is the home of our genetic test has been set up and is in operation today at Children's Mercy Hospital in Kansas City. The proceeds from this event will go directly toward the completion and public launch of this test. The important thing is that as our test is sold, our foundation will receive royalties that will provide a robust revenue stream to continue funding research for a cure. This is our future sustainability. I know that together we will succeed and reach our goals. Hi, I'm Dr. Mehmet Oz. It gives me great pleasure to help the Beyond Batten Disease Foundation to promote their carrier screening test. As a physician, I can tell you this is the kind of game-changing health initiative that truly excites me. This will be a tool that can profoundly affect the health of children by preventing the occurrence of these illnesses that have challenged us for decades. Ten years ago, I would have thought that a world without genetic killers like Batten, cystic fibrosis, and hundreds of others was a dream. The Beyond Batten Disease Foundation is making this a reality. That makes then my thanks for your support of this important cause.